Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look and it's an everyday look and I actually simplified it by doing no wing liner. At least for me, it's simplified. Uh, all the products will be listed down in the description bar. Don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel and follow me on my Instagram, which will be listed somewhere up here. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I always do is I brush my eyebrow hairs up. I don't know why, but this makes a really big difference because when I forget to do this, my eyebrows always look very bushy. And the brow product I'm going to be taking is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. So this was drying out, but what you can do to help if it's drying out is you can add, I use the Inglot Duraline and it really helps. So right now it's very creamy. So. So I always like to start off with the lower part of my brow first and I just, you want to go very light handed especially since this is like a natural look and I'm growing my eyebrows out so they are a mess and that's pretty much it for the bottom we can fix it in a little and then we do the top. And you saw how I was like missing hair right there. I just fill that in with this. So the next thing I do, I, I grab some concealer and this e.l.f small smudge brush and I basically just conceal the bottom of my brow with this and this cleans it up and then I take my NYX micro brow this is just a brow pencil and I fix everything up while the concealer is still there Okay, and then just take your finger and wipe this off. So then I take my Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara to just set these in place. And this also helps make them look not powdery. And it's a step you can't skip. Alright, so... I did this brow and they look different, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. But this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. It says it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So I got the travel size because I didn't even know this really existed until I was checking out at Sephora and I saw it in that little section with the travel size things. And I think it is so cute. And this smells so good. And just so you guys know, I did um, moisturize my skin with my ultra facial moisturizer earlier today. It smells nice too, but it's not an overbearing smell. It's like just very natural smelling. It smells just like peach. So I saw this on the Twitter page, Makeup for Women of Color. And I saw this hack on there and I tried it yesterday and I feel like it worked. So she said to use the NYX Glitter Primer on the nose and the smile lines. So I don't know if you guys know, but whenever I put anything on my nose, it tends to not cling to my nose. It actually fades pretty quickly and it literally looks like I didn't even touch my nose with makeup. So I hate that and I have been looking for hacks, but... I'm gonna try this hack. So she said, and this is what I did yesterday, is take a little bit, because in case you guys didn't know, it's like a glue. Um, and I'm gonna put just a little bit, like, like that much. Can you guys see that? And then I'm gonna put some on my, where I usually get smile lines. The 
foundation I'm going to take is an oldie but a goodie. It is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. Um, and it's very luminous, so if you have oilier skin types, I wouldn't really recommend this. But the reason I'm using it is because my name's my skin is pretty normal and I can pretty much get away with using it as long as I blot throughout the day. And I love the coverage of it. I love the way it leaves my skin looking. So yeah, this is in the shade natural. And I'm just gonna use a real techniques beauty sponge to blend it out. most part this covers like all my acne scars which I have a lot of right now they just do not go away I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Light Ivory to highlight. And this is my go-to. So now that we look dead, um, we're gonna contour and cream contour and then start doing the powder. So the cream contour I'm going to take is the Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick in Mocha and I'm just gonna contour really quick. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques contour brush to blend this out. And the way you want to blend it out is just dab it rather than rub. So that's what that should be looking like. And then I'm going to grab some translucent powder. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little. And I don't really have like a pressed powder I use on the rest of my face. I will just go always going with the same translucent powder I'm using so I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna grab like a big fluffy brush so after I let it bake for like five five-ish minutes I'm going to dust it off with this Real Techniques con it's a contour brush but I just use it dust it off I'm going to take my shade and light contour palette by Kat Von D and it's all broken I broke this one, the darkest one so I'm going to take this I'll take this one in the middle actually And I'm going to take my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Bronzed. So 
So the blush I'm going to use today is the Milani Blush in Luminoso. And I'm using a Bare Minerals brush with it. I don't know what kind of brush it is. I got it for, I think it was my mom's brush. I don't know. And lastly for the face is the best part, the highlighter. So I'm going to take the Master Chrome um, Maybelline Metallic, Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. It's so pretty. I'm going to use my makeup, my makeup forever, my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my natural lashes and then put mascara on and get them prepped for the falsy. that I curled them I'm going to put my Maybelline Great Lash uh, mascara in the shade very black and this is the waterproof one so I'm just gonna go find the lashes I want to use today Okay, the ones I'm going to be using today are these Fashion Eyelashes 3 Faux Sills Lamb Volume Sexy Lashes. These are from AliExpress and this packet was $2 and they are bomb guys. I have used these before. So I'm going to grab some mascara and coat my bottom lashes with this. So for my lips, I'm going to take the NYX Nude Beige. Look how tiny it is. But I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in Literally. So that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna go do my hair really quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I hope you like this everyday makeup look because I am really feeling it. If you have any recommendations to videos you'd like to see, comment down below and I'll, I'll try to get to that. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.